Today I'm going to be talking about something that is quite dear to my heart and that is self blame and guilt. So if you have been that athlete who has potentially not performed as you would or as planned and you have really blamed yourself and just gone hard on yourself for just being the reason why you have not performed the way you needed to perform, then this video is for you. Oh, you make me want to talk back. Talk back to you. Now, as a mental performance coach, I always say that having high standards is actually really good because high standards means that you are a go-getter. You want to achieve your goal and you want to achieve the best that you can and you know that you can. But on the flip side, what happens when things don't go as planned? Is that when self-blame and guilt kicks in? Now, I have been an elite level athlete for over 20 years. I'm a six-time karate world champion, a CrossFit Games athlete, a Commonwealth Games medalist in weightlifting, and also a five times world competitor in Olympic weightlifting. And I can promise you now, I know what it feels like to blame myself when things don't go well. I'm that person who sets super high standards. And in the past, if I didn't reach those standards, I would go really hard on myself, breaking myself down, telling myself that, you know, I'm just not good enough and I didn't train hard enough. And I knew in my heart that I gave every single thing possible to achieve what I wanted to achieve. And sometimes in sport, it just doesn't go as planned. So if you've been in sport for a very long time and think about it, even people like Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant or whoever, it doesn't matter what sport you do, Michael Phelps, it's never a linear path upwards. You don't just win everything all the time and never lose. But the thing that matters is like, how do you deal with not winning? Or how do you deal with coming second? Or how do you deal with training your butt off to get on the podium and you don't get onto the podium? What then? Now, the other day I was listening to a podcast and this really resonated with me. And the quote that came out of it was, loving yourself hard means being hard on yourself but when things get really tough, also having that self-compassion to just lift yourself up to that level that you know you can be at. Self-blame is definitely the easy way out. It's so much easier to blame yourself when things doesn't go as planned than to love yourself. But today I go and challenge you. If things doesn't go as planned in the future or something happens or there's a disappointment, you have the option of either self-blaming or showing yourself self-compassion. Which one are you going to choose? And I promise you, when you go the self-compassion route, that doesn't mean that you are soft on yourself, that you are saying, oh, it's okay to lose. It's okay to come second. It's okay to not give your best. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. So I'm going to give you a little bit of an example. So say you trained super hard the whole year to compete at a national meet and on game day everything went according to plan but when you walked on that stage things just didn't go as planned you kept missing lifts maybe someone else came and lifted heavier than you that was unexpected and again that is actually something that is out of your control so when something happens that is out of your control, you need to be able to refocus yourself, tell yourself, what can I control? What in this very moment is the things that I can control and the things that I can't control? And I can control giving my very best on game day, regardless of that might be. If that means coming first, coming second, even if I go out there and I give my heart, I give everything on the platform, and I still don't lift according to plan, I know that I gave my best. But then it's also good to, to show myself some self-compassion to say, I gave my best, but I need to go back to the drawing board because there's something that's just not going as planned when it comes competition day. And it could be something small. It that's could be if things doesn't go as planned and you know you gave your heart and soul on the competition platform 
or on the basketball court or on the field or on the mat, just depending on what sport you do. You know you can walk off there no matter what happened. If someone else beat you on the day, if someone else lifted more than you, that was out of your control. But the thing that is in your control is showing yourself self-compassion, walking off that platform, saying to yourself, I gave my very best, but now it's time to reflect, go back to the drawing board, see what I can do better for next time. Also remember to critique, but do not criticize your performance. And once you've done, once you've done that reflection, I want you to then close the book and focus on the next competition, the next training session, whatever comes next. Because also if we dwell on the past, then that self-blame and that guilt is just going to get more and more and more. And it's get to, going to get to a point where we break. It's going to get to a point where we start to really hate the sport. It's going to get to a point where we're just going to be negative to ourselves all the time. And what is the benefit in that? I mean, we're not going to help ourselves. And if we are in a team sport, we're not going to be conducive to actually helping our team stay positive. We're going to be the weakest link in the team. Instead, if things doesn't go well, go and speak to your coach, go and speak to your teammates, see how you can contribute, see if there's something else, change your mindset. It's about just having that mindset shift. And again, this isn't something that's easy. It's something that takes time. It takes practice. But the main point I want you to take out of today is to be aware of when you are starting to blame yourself and to feel guilty for performances that you shouldn't be feeling guilty for. So if you're that athlete who's been battling with mindset and you have just not figured out how to master your mind, then my brand new course called Unleash the Inner Beast is going to be perfect for you. So I would recommend you go and check that out in the link below. It's there to help teach you mind-blowing confidence, but it's also there to give you all the tools necessary so that whatever happens in sport, in life, or in your career, you have the tools available to be able to deal with it. Guys, thank you so much for listening today. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, ring that notification bell. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one.